Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery. In this video we are going to be making this super cute embroidery library design and we are going to be cutting it out and uh, doing it on the embroidery machine. So I wanted to show you first, here's the set. I will put the link to the set in the description of this video. Now we're gonna be doing the Christmas tree one, but as you can see, I love that one. There's a whole set to it. Now we're using felt. The one I did, I'll show you guys a picture of it in a second. The one I did, I decided not to do white icing I guess it is I did green so you can change the colors of it but aren't they cute all right so back to starting and we're gonna use the brother scan and cut for this video so the first thing you do is bring in your design it fits handily into a 4 by 4 hoop so it's really nice for that and we're gonna select the outside now if you remember on the pictures this is the die line so this is the outside edge on it now you could cut on the line if you wanted to manually with scissors or you can pre-cut them like what we're going to do and then this is the inside so there's a nice edge around it so uh embroidery library does give you die lines for the front and the back so remember the back half of it has to be reversed so they have die line front and die line back and those come with your designs so if you don't have a cutter and you want to pre-cut you can print out the designs you can cut them out and then place them over your fabric maybe even with a bit of goody stick and manually cut out on the line so it'll fit but we do have cutters and we do have all the brother software to make this work so let's do it this way so this is our die line as i said what you need to do either at the machine or before you send it to the machine is change this line i have it selected we just want the one line we change this line and select the one and now you can see by the red bounding box or marching ants and you can see over here that i only have the one and we just want to make this one the color for the applique and you can see i did that correctly this time so this is telling the cutter that this is the applique piece this is the cut line then all we have to do is send it to the machine now you can do it from here or if you have a dream machine or any machine like that we can do it at the machine which i will show you guys in just a minute so send it at, I, i'm obviously not logged in so we once you log in you export it so i'll meet you guys over at the machine and i'll show you how to do it at the machine okay so here we are at mcdreamy and we are going to bring in our design and I'm going to show you how to set it up and copy it over to our USB so we know what to do. So let's go here and I sent it from the computer. So the bottom button works and there's our tree. Hi tree. There we go. And you can see, which is excellent, you can see that because I sent it over from the computer that the outside edge is already telling us that that is the cut piece. So we'll just uh, set it and then we're going to go here. Now, if you didn't have this set up properly, go into edit and go into your colors. And then at the bottom here, way down here, let me use my other hand. This is the color that you set up for the first one. If you don't have it set up, on your PE Design 10, you can set it up in the machine just as easy. So let's go OK. Awesome. Now, before you go into embroidery mode, add in your USB and go to memory. And we want to save it to the USB. So the correct one is this one. And it's saving it, and we're done. OK, so here I am with. This is, by the way, this is the design that we're going to be doing. The only mistake I made is I forgot to change the bobbin thread, but I almost always do that, so that's okay. Isn't that cute? So let's go. So this is felt that I have. It's not 
you know, top-notch felt or anything, but it'll do the trick for what I want. So which way, you got to figure out which way it's going to fit. We can scan it in. It's, it's good enough. And you can see, I kind of made a little bit of a mess when I did it before. Yeah, you can see the mess. This is, I usually buy two, two um, mats for a machine because the first mat I'm going to totally destroy by doing experiments such as this. So I also have my goodie stick on the back because I wanted to stick goodie. Yes, stick. So let's just push it down very nicely and grab my brayer which seems to make a great difference on how it's going to go down. Now if you're having trouble with the felt because some felt can be kind of stretchy. I think the cheaper felt or the, you know, it's less tightly woven felt. Um, you might have trouble with it stretching. Like when I did this one and I pulled it off, it stretched out of shape that I had to fix it a little bit. So you could put some packing tape over it and it'll give you a nice crisp cut. Um, I think you could probably put some fusible on it, not that you're gonna fuse it, but just so it's there to keep the fabric, keep the felt tight, or goody stick. Goody stick works for everything that I do. So let's take it to the cutter. Okay, now we're at McSteamy. Let's load them up. So let's load up the map. Let him do his thing, get your USB that you save stuff on. Let's go to retrieve data and we have it on the USB. And of course it's in our B pocket. And look for our Christmas tree now. This is one that I did earlier, but that's okay. We'll pick this one and retrieve it. Awesome, looks good. All we care about is the outside part. So we can make it two clicks bigger and we're gonna pick the simple outline one. So that happens to be the middle one and okay. And I think that's fine for size because we already upped it a little bit. Isn't that great? So that's the first one and we want to do it again. So I'm going to go add this. Okay. Keep it the same size. We could have put two on there, but I only did once. Now for this one, I know it doesn't have to be turned around, but we can edit it and we can do object edit and we can flip it right here. So if you're doing another one, I know this one's the same either way, but if you're doing another one, that's how you would do it on the second one. Or again, you can bring in the die lines from Embroidery Library. So now we're good. We've got one front, one back. Let's try not to get them mixed up. Now let's go OK. Please select, cut, and we're ready to go. Now I don't do test because test will cut a test spot way in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, I don't actually have material down there. So all it's going to do is cut my mat, which has seen more than enough abuse. So we don't want to do that. Okay, now we're ready to go. All you have to do is hit start. So it's cutting it a second time to make sure we have a perfect cut, which I think is pretty cool. It senses that it's really thick. 
So it's going to go over it twice. And you can see that we are going to have a perfect cut. Thank you, goodie stick right there. Oh, apparently it's going to do it a third time. Oh, I didn't do that the first time that I did this, but that's okay. Cut away. Thank you. We shouldn't have any problems as long as this stays down, which it appears to be. Okay, we're cut. We're good. That's a pretty efficient machine. Yeah, and it knows, right? So let's go to finish and let's pull out our goody stick trees. Look at that. How perfect is that? Isn't that amazing? Goody stick on the back. Now you might want to take a, a marker or a pencil or something and mark on the back. Doesn't matter as much for this one. Oh, look, I made a little mistake there. Oh. But I would put front and back, so F and B, just write it on it so you don't get them mixed up. I'm going to remember because this one is a little bit off, but the, the design is the same one way or the other, so we don't have to worry about it. So in the next video, we're going to take this to the machine and stitch these out and make a really awesome design. So thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel to let me know you want more videos just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.